Okay, I want to do a quick tutorial on how I completed project number one. Uh, the one thing I keep seeing people in this group chat talking about having problems with is computing standard deviation and talking about how you have to do the math for each problem individually. And that is not true. So, uh, the first thing I did was open up my um, project. I opened up the data sheet copied the entire data sheet into a new Excel, and I can't remember exactly why this happened, but uh, if you copy it again, I can assure you this won't happen. You'll get your numbers in there. Uh, for my case, I chose admission rate and four-year grad rate because they had the most um, changes between the top 50 and the bottom 50, but what you choose is up to you. So the first thing I did was I took um, the first 50, and I copied and pasted them over here, and the bottom 50 is here, so this is admission rate. And in order to do your stem and leaf plot, you're gonna want to sort your data. Um, so I'm gonna select it all, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say sort, and I'm gonna say smallest to largest. And now I have my data in smallest to largest so that I can complete my stem and leaf. It makes it easy to go right down the list. Um, you can see I've got one for each of these. Now, the other thing you're going to want to do is your standard deviation. Now, the f easiest thing you can do, uh, if you didn't have to show your work, would be um, to do the descriptive analysis. So you can do that by go to data on, up here, uh, which I'm using, by the way, I'm using Mac 2016 uh, Excel. Uh, data analysis, descriptive statistics, on the list. Oh, excuse me. You'll um, select which it's already selected, output range which is already selected. Make sure you click summary statistics which is already selected for me. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. But you'll pull out something that looks like this. And in this you'll get your mean, your standard error which you don't need, your median, your mode, which you don't need, and your standard deviation. This is the sample standard deviation, which is the same exact result you will get using the uh, formula that Dr. Wolf provided us. The rest of this you don't need, you can delete. Now, I know you're saying, well, we have to show our work. We can't just use this. That is correct. However, now that you have your list, what I did was I copied this list, I copied all these lists and I put them in a new sheet. Look at that, there's a new sheet. And, um, all right, so all my stuff's popping up. So here's my new sheet, this is my uh, admission rate. I changed it all to a uh, decimal point instead of um, a percentage. It doesn't matter. Here's percentage, back in percentage, okay. now. If you know your formula for finding standard deviation, you first have to find the variance, which is O2 equals the sigma of x minus mu squared over n minus 1. So the first thing you want to do is make a list. You say label this x minus mu, and we're going to do a formula here. We're going to do equal sign A2, because that's A2 right there, minus your mean, which is 0.6212 and then you hit enter. Boom! Guess what? There's my answer. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, how do I do this for the entire set? Well, this whole block should be empty. Let's just... Alright. This whole block should... I'm gonna... Um, this whole block should be empty at this point. But, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this whole block now that I've done the first one, and I'm gonna hit autofill. And I'm gonna say down, and look at that. And this is the sum of this, and it should be zero. Um, all right, so now you have all your x minus mu's. But wait, now we have to square it. Guess what? There's your x minus mu squared, and that's going to be using this. So b uh, equal, don't forget the equal sign, equals b2 caret 2, which is the power of 2. Hit enter. There's all of your um, uh, x minus mu squared. And then sigma of x minus mu squared means the sum of x minus mu squared. So we're going to go down here and we're going to say equal sum of C2 through C51, which is this entire data set. And that gives you 
etc. And then the next thing you're going to do is um, C52 divided by 50. Actually, that's not correct. It's 50 minus 1. I think I, I did these calculations on the calculator, but uh, it should be 50 minus 1. And then uh, square root of 50 of C53, which is the square root of that, and that will give you your answer. Um, now, let's see. Okay, so here's my work page for my standard deviation. You can see I have it written out. Sigma x minus mu over n minus 1. Don't forget that's what you have to use, n minus 1, for a sample size for like 50 data entries. And so 1.335, which is the sum of x minus mu squared, n minus 1 would be 50 minus 1, and that gives you your answer, and then you do your, uh, for your, deep, for your uh, variance, and then you need to do the square root, and you get your standard deviation of 0 0.16505. Now we can go back to our Excel sheet, and we can look at the um, descriptive analysis and it shows us standard deviation and so we can check our work. So there's standard deviation in a nutshell. You're going to do that four times for each of these and I would recommend you do it on a separate sheet so that you can submit your work and all your work is shown. Um, especially since you're going to also want to submit something like this, which is going to show that you've done your standard deviation worksheet for all this stuff. Uh, all right, so we did standard deviation, uh, and we did mean, and, and we did um, median, easy enough. The next, and we did a stem and leaf plot. You can see I did the stem and leaf plot here. You can make this line by right-clicking. Um, Let's see, right click on that data set, format cell, uh, border, choose the border side, one of these, choose the border, boom. There you go, you've got a border. Um, and that's easily copied and pasted into a PowerPoint presentation for uh, displaying it later. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is our box and whisker plot, which again is pretty simple and straightforward. We're gonna select our uh, data set we're going to go over to insert we're going to insert a box and whisker which will pull up uh let's just do it here i'll do it real fast all right so click here insert box and whisker oh guess what nothing's there but that's okay we'll right click select data um make one series series name is going to be um, top 50 Y values, click that so we can select, we'll select 1 through 50, all right, select the second set, we'll say bottom 50, select that, again, 1 through 50, all right, hit enter. And, um, okay, so there's your graph. Um, I'll choose this graph rec representation. All right, now, how do you know if your quartiles are right? Well, we are, again, going to have to show your work for your um, quartiles here, uh, which is median. Um, so if you, the first quartile is 1 through 20, is the median of 1 through 25, in this case, 52%. Um, and you can see this says 51%. Well, why does this say 51%? Well, let's see. Go to um, select uh, format data series, bring up a box. Make sure you choose inclusive median. That, I can't remember exactly what it does, but inclusive median will make sure that it's using the correct um, values. Now this says 76%, it should say 77%. I'd say it was close enough, he's not gonna be able to see that, he's gonna look at your work anyway. So make sure you have a chart title. But now we're displaying both of our top 50 and bottom 50 results in one um, stem, in one box and leaf plot. You can see I've got, um, where did I do it? I did it over here somewhere. 
And then for graphing, here's my graph. Um, anything else we need to do? I think that's it. So then uh, I opened it all up in a PowerPoint. You can see here's my PowerPoint. Um, I copy and pasted everything into my PowerPoint and I made sure when I pasted it in, I clicked on the, the box for um, copying and I selected as a picture. That gives you your, the best way to format. And you can see here's my graphs. Um, there's my stem and leaf plot for all of that. So pretty straightforward. Again, here's your work page. At some point, you're, you're going to have your work page. And um, I, I'll end up submitting um, all four of this, the Excel sheet, the PDF with my work shown, uh, the PowerPoint, and then my Word document with my summary. All in one, all in the same. All right, and that's quick and easy.